Hey guys, today I've come to right or wrong. My original video for how to add background music into OBS started out really good. It's at like 25,000 views, so the views are good, but I'm starting to get a lot of thumbs downs and I'm not liking it. So I'm gonna, I'm redoing the video today. Uh, 2018 using Streamlabs OBS, actually giving instructions this time on how to set it up and we're taking a look at it right now. Okay guys, so we all know why we're here. I apparently did not make that great of a video the first time around, so this is gonna be a better video this time around, hopefully. You'll have to let me know at the end of this video if you liked it better than my original video, which I'll drop a link to. Either I'll card it up in the upper corner of the video or something, I'll put a link to it. Um, so this video is for adding background music into a stream using Streamlabs OBS. Now, you can do similar things with a pre-recorded video, but this is not incorporating a video editor at all, so this is mainly for your live streams. So, to get started with this video, obviously you're going to want to be sure that your audio is isolated away from your microphone, like your output is isolated away from your input. So, basically you want to be sure that your input is set to something like a set of headphones, that way you can judge the levels while not interfering with your input at all, with, the, with your input being your microphone. So the first thing you're going to want to do is be sure that your output is properly selected down here in the bottom corner of your screen. And once you have it properly selected, if, you're, if you've got any kind of streaming setup, most of the time you have multiple sources of output. So I've got a pair of headphones or a pair of earbuds, I've got a, a sound bar, I've got a, a headset. So you're gonna have a couple different things. Be sure you have the proper one selected. Once you have the proper one selected, you're gonna go to the mixer here in Streamlabs. Now, if you're not if you're not familiar with Streamlabs, Streamlabs OBS is basically OBS with streaming capabilities built into it. And if you do not know how to get to it, I'll show you. You can just go to Google and type in slobs. That'll be the first thing that pops up, and just download it, install it, and boom, this is what you get. So once you're all set up and you're to the point where you need to incorporate audio. You're gonna bring your attention to the mixer down here in the bottom right hand corner where you can see my microphone levels moving up and down because I'm talking into the microphone currently. And as you can see, the desktop audio is not going because I do not have any desktop audio playing at all. So what you're going to want to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to desktop audio and beside the speaker over here, you wanna to go to the little cog here, that's your settings, and you're gonna to go to properties. Once you're in properties, you are going to be sure that your correct device is selected. So once you have your, your correct device selected, it's going to be default by default, um, but just be sure you have the proper one selected and then click done. Once you do that, if you are curious if there's another way to do it, if that was not easy enough, which that honestly is the easiest way out of the two ways, uh, you can go up to the cog up here in the top of the screen, the top right next to your username here and then you go to audio same thing here here you can set up your desktop audio and your microphone at the same time so instead of clicking on this one separately and this one separately you can just do it all in one right up there if you want to so once you have that selected this is where we get into the next step deciding what source you're going to use for your music you can literally use any source because once you have these audio levels set up correctly uh, you can literally use any source of music um, that's legal obviously um, so that'll, that'll lead into the cop copyright infringement discussion here in a second. Um, but you can literally use anything from Spotify to iTunes to iHeartRadio to, to Pandora to Google Play. Whatever you use for your music source, you can use it. Don't hesitate. Just be sure that you're using royalty-free music. Now, what do I, what do I mean by royalty-free? Royalty-free is basically content that you can use without having to worry about copyright infringement. So it's basically uh, musicians that put out um, that put out music that they don't expect to get paid for that you know they're not they do it basically it's like a like a nonprofit thing. Um, so you're not going to get a knock on the door demanding some royalty money uh, for using their their songs in your videos. even though it's even though it's royalty free, the best thing to do and this is just to pay your dues, if you're making a video and you have somebody's music in your video, be sure that you drop a like a an appreciation thing, like a link to their stuff in your video. That way, it shows that you do appreciate the fact that they they're that they're letting you use their music. 
So always be sure to do that. It's just a more of a courtesy thing. So once you have all your audio levels selected, um, or you open up your music source, and honestly, it's literally as easy as clicking play. Be careful too, because there's also some games that have soundtracks built into them that you can actually get in trouble for using the soundtracks for the games. Like for example, I was streaming Fallout 4 one time, got done with the stream, ended it, it posted to YouTube, and I got a notice within a few minutes that I violated copyright stuff with, or I got a copyright warning from YouTube because I was listening to Diamond City Radio, which if you're not familiar, Diamond City Radio is just a radio station that's built into the game. So I got in trouble for using that. So they can get picky when it comes to uh, YouTube. Twitch is not uh, so much, um, they haven't really dropped the ban hammer on copyrighted music. I hear people playing copyrighted music on Twitch all the time. If they have the rights to it, cool. If they don't, they're still playing it. They'll, it'll eventually catch up to them. It's just a matter of time. So always be sure that you're using copy or copyright free music, which is royalty free. It's my source that I use for my royalty free music is Spotify. And I'm going to drag it onto the screen here just to show y'all how I use it. <clears throat> so once I have Spotify pulled up, you can, I, I listen to an artist called DJ Quads. He's a royalty free artist who makes some pretty awesome music and he makes plenty of it. There's a bunch of it on here. He's got full albums. So feel free to give him a listen. Check it out. See if it's obviously strikes the the kind if it's you know the kind of music that you want. So and also you can do stuff as easy as typing in royalty free up here. Then you know it's it's going to pop up with different royalty free playlists all right here and under your playlists. Um, this is a pretty good one. They've got almost eight hours of music on here, 120 songs. It's all royalty free, so stream it until your heart's content. So there's that there. Um, go back to DJ Quads. Now obviously once you have your music selected on what you want to listen to, the next thing you're going to want to do is be sure that your audio levels are correct as far as how loud the desktop audio is playing over your voice or under your voice because you want your voice to play over your music, obviously. So I have found with the microphone setup that I have, I have found that around negative 20 decibels is about right. Um, it's, you know, it still plays a good bit of the music. You can still hear it uh, and you can still be, but you can still mainly hear my voice over the music. So once you have your levels selected, obviously it's going to be a trial and error depending on your setup. Um, it's, you're going to have to do a lot of recording, you know, playing some audio, talking, you know, doing some testing, setting it up that way until you until you feel your levels are right. So once you get everything set up, this is what you're going to do to start incorporating music into your video. Literally, you're just going to press play. So, like I said, it's once you get it all set up, your levels are set up, your settings are set up correctly, it's literally going to be as easy as pressing play on your audio source. That's really all there is to it, guys. Um, obviously, like on Spotify, you got ads if you don't have premium. So, um, if you want to get a, a, a list of artists together that have a bunch of royalty-free music, make them into a playlist, you know, download all their music, then play it through you know your whatever music app you use on your computer that way you don't have to worry about ads obviously that's preferred because as we all know youtube plays enough ads or whatever you post everything there's ads all over the place nowadays so that's pretty much it guys if i did a better job on this video than my previous video please let me know there'll be a card that'll pop up here in a second for my previous video and if you want to watch both of them and just let me know how I did and see if this one was a better, more instructional video on how to actually set it up, just let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, also don't forget to click that big thumbs up button. Let me know if you liked it. Or if you didn't like it, if it was worse than the first one, just click that thumbs down button. I know it's there. I don't like saying it, but hey, you got to let people know about it. If you enjoy the content of my channel, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you wish to be notified, Anytime I drop new content, please don't forget to click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. 
Alrighty guys, this has been Barbaros with Barbaros Gaming. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have an excellent day.